In a previous segment, we saw how to export palettes and groups from a prior version of AutoCAD. Now what we'd like to do is bring those into AutoCAD 2012. So simply fire up AutoCAD 2012, make sure that your palettes are visible, go to the perimeter of the palette, right click, and we'll say customize palettes. This will bring up our dialog box, which looks similar actually to the earlier versions of AutoCAD, just a, a little bit more structure in terms of the palette groups that you might notice here, but functionally equivalent. So the first thing that we want to do is import a palette group. So I'll simply hover over any one of the existing groups, right click and say import. Now I've defined a shortcut over here so that I can automatically get to my palettes folder. Here we see a bunch of folders that contain the uh, images that'll be used for the individual palettes that we'll import in a moment. But down here is the XPG or palette group file that we're going to import. So we simply click that and open it. Now that group will be appended down here to the bottom of the palette group list. Now that we have the group defined, it's time to go ahead and import some of the palettes and then populate the group. So our attention now focuses over here. We simply hover over any palette, right click, and we can now perform import operations. Go to my shortcut, and these are all of my palette folders, and here are the XTP, or palette files, here for importation. Now what I'm going to do is start bringing in a few of these. I'll, I'll not do all of them, but let's go ahead and import a couple. There's the first electrical one that, that came into the list, and I'll import another one. Let's just go with that one. So now that we have a couple of these, it's a straightforward drag and drop style operation to make sure that they get into the correct group. So we'll just scroll down there, making sure we can see our electrical group and we'll start bringing these over. And we'll do the second one here just to be complete. If you don't like the order of the import operation, you can simply drag and drop these around and order them as you'd like. So now we've set this up, we'll close so that our changes have been made. And what we'll do now is come hover over on the perimeter of the tool palette itself and right click. And we notice that down here in our group listing, we now see electrical and that was not there before. And this brings up a point that doesn't get explained a lot and people don't take enough advantage of in my opinion. When we look at our default palette display, we're seeing all palettes. And this leads to quite a lot of things being shoehorned into a relatively small amount of space. The names then get truncated or abbreviated, so it's not always easy to tell what palette we're looking at. It's far easier to step through this using group selection. So I'll just go ahead and use our electrical group that we populated a moment ago. And, and now we're down to just a couple of palettes that are very focused on the job that we need to do we can see the names clearly, everything's easy to use. If we wanna go back to another one, just simply go back over here, right click, and select whatever other palette group you might like to use. So you could go to the parametric design one, for example. Now it's very easy to see what we have here and what we're working with. So palette groups make it really easy to manage. You can always go back and turn on all palettes if you want the traditional display and select there. So there you have it, very straightforward, easy to use.